So this morning, something crazy happened. We received our first true look at Avengers 4 through a photo that was leaked. This is the first promo art that has been released for Avengers 4. There are actually two photos that have been released this morning, but before we get started and dive into these videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on Avengers 4. So we'll start with this photo first, and it shows all of the Avengers that were not wiped out by Thanos' snap. But we also have some additions. If you take a look, Hawkeye finally made his appearance. And he's still sporting a bow, and he appears to have his same outfit on that he does through most of the movies. So it appears that he has not taken on the persona of Ronin yet. Also, you can take a look to his right, you can see Ant-Man. Ant-Man was absent during Infinity War, but I think it's safe to say that in Ant-Man and the Wasp that comes out next month, we'll find out exactly what was happening with him and the Wasp during the whole Infinity War time frame. But there's something else to notice here, and that the Wasp isn't here. It seems like maybe she didn't survive the snap. And I'm gonna say that she didn't, because I think that if she did, she would be in this photo right here. Again, I think it's going to be revealed to us what happens with Ant-Man and the Wasp during the times of Infinity War in Ant-Man and the Wasp movie. And I think it'll probably be in a post credit scene, kind of the same as in the post credit scene of Infinity War that showed Nick Fury and Agent Hill kind of disappearing. I think it will kind of be the same thing. I think it'll be they're sitting fine and dandy, they've defeated Ghost, and then all of a sudden people start to disappear and then next thing you know hope disappears and then maybe even hank pym disappears and ant-man is like what the heck is going on and that's when he goes and finds the avengers the next addition to the original avengers is rocket raccoon i think rocket is going to make a great addition to the avengers i mean rocket groot and thor's quest to netta valir was amazing it was definitely one of the best scenes in the whole entire movie and he definitely bonded with Thor during the movie, and Thor is still alive, thank goodness. So I think it's going to be really great to see this dynamic again. Plus, I think he's going to add some much-needed humor, because let's face it, the end of Infinity War, it's pretty dark. And I think the start of Avengers 4 will be pretty dark as well, and I think Rocket is going to provide some very necessary humor. And while we're talking about Guardians, there is another one in this photo. Sort of. There's Nebula. Nebula isn't so much of a hero as she is an anti-hero, but nonetheless, I think she's going to be of extreme importance in Avengers 4. She is the adopted daughter of Thanos, he raised her, so she knows him extremely well. And not to mention that in the Infinity Gauntlet series, she is the one that actually wields the Infinity Gauntlet and helps defeat Thanos. So I think we'll see some big things from Nebula. And last but certainly not least is the one and only Captain Marvel. She is wearing her original outfit that she does in the comics when she becomes Captain Marvel and we've seen some leaked photos of her in this outfit but we've also seen some leaked photos of her in the green outfit as well. So it's good to see that she's actually in the red and blue outfit. She's supposed to be the heavy hitter in Avengers 4, right? She is who Nick Fury was calling at the end of Infinity War in the post credit scene when everybody was disappearing. Another thing about Captain Marvel is, I've said this before, and it has been rumored that she's going to be wearing quantum bands, and these are the quantum bands that Quasar wears in the comics. Now, this is obviously a shift of how it is in the comics, but the thing about the quantum bands is, when the user wears them, they can turn invisible. So it's hard to know if this rumor is true. She could be wearing them in this photo, and they just might be invisible, so we don't really know. But regardless, it's just really awesome to see her finally with all of the other Avengers. The original Avengers looked the same for the most part with the exception of a few things. But you can see here, Iron Man still has his nanotechnology suit. Captain America still looks the same as he did in Infinity War. Thor still looks the same and he's still rocking Stormbreaker as you can see here in the photo. Black Widow seems to be wearing the same outfit that she normally does in the movies and she's still rocking the katanas. War Machine looks a tad bit different, but for the most part the same. Maybe Tony gave him some nanotechnology and that's what his suit is now, but for the most part he looks the same. The gun on top looks a little different. It doesn't look like a Gatling gun like it normally is, so maybe it is nanotech and he's just kind of coming up with a different gun on top, or maybe it's some sort of Wakandan technology. 
Now, the biggest difference and change in appearance in this photo is obviously the Hulk. He's wearing some sort of suit or uniform, which we never see. Now, when Banner turns into the Hulk, obviously, all of his clothes rip off, except for his pants for obvious reasons, but all of his clothes besides that do rip off. Now, he's already the Hulk in this photo, so that means he's already went from tiny Banner to huge Hulk, and the suit is still on. Now, that leads me to believe that this is a very specifically designed suit, probably by him and Tony. And it's definitely designed to expand with him. Now, what this really looks like is Professor Hulk. Now, Professor Hulk is kind of a merger. And in the comics, there's actually kind of two. There's the merged Hulk and slash the Professor Hulk. But they're kind of the same character. So, in this photo, we're talking about Professor Hulk. He is a merger between Banner and the Hulk, kind of becoming one person. Mark Ruffalo has even said in interviews that the line between Banner and the Hulk is beginning to get blurred. So Banner and the Hulk are kind of starting to merge into one person. And of course to mention that Bruce Banner in the films is beginning to worry that when he turns into the Hulk, he might never come back. In Thor Ragnarok, we learned that when the Hulk left in Avengers Age of Ultron, he remained in the Hulk state for two years. So he's really worried that if he turns back in the Hulk, it's just going to be the Hulk. The Hulk's going to take over and it's never going to come back to Bruce Banner. So this problem and Banner worrying about this kind of smoothly brings in Professor Hulk. Because in the comics, Bruce Banner subconsciously installs a type of safeguard within Professor Hulk. And basically what happens with this safeguard is when the Hulk gets too angry, he'll turn back into Bruce Banner. So you can clearly see how this is a great way to kind of transition into Professor Hulk because right now currently Banner is really worried that when he turns back into the Hulk, the Hulk will take control and he'll never turn back into Banner again. So I think this is super exciting because I would love to see different variations of the Hulk and I think Professor Hulk will be really cool to see on screen. Another thing about this photo is that it appears to be on Titan. Now obviously it's not the same color, it's not red, but if you look at the background it really does look like Titan. I think the whole blue background in this photo is simply just because, it's just because of the promo art they chose to make it blue. but. I think it's Titan, it really looks like it. And I'm not actually sure if that has any significance at all. I mean, obviously it has significance to Thanos and to Infinity War because of the scene that took place on Titan, but I don't think that this is implying too much here. I don't think Titan will play too big of a significance in Avengers 4. I think if anything, they might revisit Thanos' childhood somehow. The Russo brothers said about Infinity War that they cut out a lot of scenes about Thanos' past. Maybe these cutout scenes will make their way in Avengers 4 and we'll learn more about Thanos' backstory. But I think that probably is the extent of the significance of Titan. I don't think they'll really revisit it that much. So that's that for the first photo. Let's take a look at the second photo, which is of Thanos. This photo of Thanos is pretty cool because he's wearing his battle armor. I know a lot of fans were pretty disappointed with Infinity War because he never really wore his battle armor. He had it in the very beginning, but he took it off pretty quickly and never put it on again. But he has it on in this photo, so maybe that means we'll see more of it in Avengers 4. And as you can see, he's wielding a new sword. Now, I know that there were toys of Thanos released earlier in the year before Infinity War came out where he actually had this sword. I'm not sure if this is of any significance, but what it might say is that we will see those cutscenes from the first Avengers in Avengers 4, because if you think about it, they came out with the toys, which means there were probably scenes for Infinity War with Thanos wielding the sword. They made the toys after the scenes, then they took the scenes out. But they made the toys, and you're not gonna not sell toys. So maybe we'll see those scenes come back in Avengers 4. Another thing to notice is that his Infinity Gauntlet is fixed. At the end of Infinity War, you can notice that the Infinity Gauntlet was pretty banged up. And that is from him using the power of all the Infinity Stones to wipe out half the universe. But it probably wouldn't be too hard for him to just use the Time Stone to fix the Infinity Gauntlet. So what this photo really tells me, for the most part, is that Thanos is ready for battle. He's got his armor on, 
He's got his new sword, and the Infinity Gauntlet is fixed. I hope Captain Marvel packs a serious punch because the Avengers are going to need everything that they have in order to defeat Thanos in Avengers 4. So that is it for these first leaked promo art photos for Avengers 4. Hopefully this is just the start of more news and info about it coming out. Let me know what your thoughts are about it in the comments below and be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on Avengers 4. Thank you so much for watching Woof Gang. Woof woof.